Hello everyone and welcome back to Amity Bloom. My name is Nazzy and today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how I go about doing my first ever plan with me in my bullet journal. Now this is the bullet journal that I created a couple weeks ago and I showed a tutorial as how I created it. It's super simple. I already shared a process video as how I created my key and my front pocket. So I'm going to be planning the month of September, which is the month that we're currently in now. I am a couple days behind. That is perfectly fine. As you can see, I used little sticky notes. I have been collecting a couple scraps of paper that I knew I wanted to incorporate in my bullet journal. And just so that I remembered what I wanted to do, I used little mini sticky notes just to let me know what I wanted to include on that particular page. So I'm just going to grab my scraps and I'm going to put them on my little bunny plate. And what I mean by bunny plate is yes, I have a plate and it has a bunny on it. <laughs> I picked this up from the thrift store and I thought it was so adorable and it's perfect to keep and house my little ephemera scraps. For this particular page, we're going to be doing the month of September. And typically in a normal planner, you'd already have your month on two pages laid out or just your month on a page. So we're actually going to do this by hand, which is the fun part. Now, typically in a bullet journal, you would take your pen and you draw in the month. So I have my Sharpie pen, and all I'm gonna do is I have to flip it over so that I can get semi, semi straight lines. I mean, it's not gonna be perfect, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. So I'm just going to draw in my line. Oh, that is actually kind of straight. Sweet. So I've drew my line in there, and then I guess I need to draw in, oh, but this washi's kind of getting in the way. It's okay. All right, so I'm going to draw in this line right here. Just like that. So far, so good. Are you guys like me and get nervous when you have to draw a straight line? Oh, I think I goofed this one. Uh, I goofed it a little bit, <laughs> but it's okay. Let's add another line to make it look abstract. <laughs> Just to make it look as if it was planned to go wrong. All right. <laughs> Turning it over and just draw a straight line down. There we go. Let's not mind this extra little line that's just a loner by itself in the corner. <laughs> okay, so this is looking good so far. Now I need to take a look at an actual calendar to see how many weeks are in the month. Typically there's four, but sometimes there can be five. There's one, two, three, four, five. I knew it. I just have to divide it. If it's one, two, three, four, so I can't do per inch, I'm just going to do a little bit smaller than an inch. How about that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Like I said, this is not going to be perfect just because when I create something in a journal, I don't want it to be perfect. You know, as long as like it looks good to me and it makes me happy, that's all that matters. It doesn't have to look perfect, which is why I think I didn't really gravitate towards a traditional planner because for me it was just too much, too much perfection. And I'm, I'm not like that. I didn't like that. And then I'm going to divide it by the seven days. So, oh, perfect. That never happens. I can give myself an inch. Sweet. Three, four five six seven okay so now we just take the ruler and we bring it down so as you can see it's super super easy to create your own calendar so this is what my month looks like and actually let me zoom you guys in a little so this is what my monthly layout looks like and now i'm going to go in and just put the dates up at the top but to do that i want to use some paper scraps I'm going to cut a little scrap of my wallpaper. So I've cut a little strip, just kind of eyeballing it, not measuring it out. And it fits perfectly. Woo, today is my lucky day. This never happens. <laughs> so I'm just going to take some glue and then take my wallpaper scrap and then just press that in. This piece has the staple, so I kind of need to like 
overlap it and staple it in. And there we go, we've got our little header for our monthly setup. So now I'm going to go in and, ooh, you know what I should do? I should probably create a tab and mark it as September so that I know because I won't really have space to put September since I'm going to put the days of the week here. So I probably should create a tab first. So to create the tab, I have this little tab punch board. I got it from Tuesday morning and it was super affordable. It was, I think, less than $10 and I want to use it to create my tab. So I'm going to be using this little scrap of paper here. I think the background paper is a little bit too strong for the color palette that I'm trying to work with. So I'm just gonna take a little sticky note and I'm just going to glue that right on the back. Really simple. I should probably use the sticky side so that it's easier. I think my tab's not gonna be bigger than that. So let me cut off the excess and save the scrap. This would be perfect to like fill out a little square. So let's save that little scrap. Now we've got my paper to create my tab with. See, simple, super easy, just a scrap of paper and a sticky note. My paper right in there, punch it. There we have that little piece of the tab. And then you wanna take this. Do I want a medium tab? Yeah, I think we'll do medium. Punch it one more time and you have your little tab. That is so cute. So now you just wanna cut off the excess. So let me move my little flip out just a little bit. All right, so now I'm just gonna take my tab and I'm going to cut it a little bit shorter just because I don't want too much sticking out. So now I'm just going to write the month. So this is September. There we go, and I just have to glue it on right there. And take my washi. Oh, that looks so cute. There we go, perfect. So now we have our little tab for September. So you can see it from your first page, and we're gonna do the same thing like September, October, November. And when your book is closed, you can also see the tab as well. So that is perfect. So now it's time to write in the days of the week. And I'm just gonna use a regular little Sharpie and just write in the days of the week. So I'm just gonna extend the lines. Now I wanna cover this up. So I think I'm gonna use that same washi to cover up the rest. Take my washi and just add it right on the page, just like that. Now I'm just going to go ahead and write in the dates, 27, 28, 29, 30. Oh, thank God there were not 31 days <laughs> in September because I would have ran out of room. <laughs> All right, sweet. Wait, let me just make sure. Let me turn the page. Sweet, yeah, there's only, <laughs> there's only 30 days in September. I have my monthly made with my little dates, so that is nice and set up. And now I'm going to move on to this little piece of paper, and this is where I'm going to have my important dates. What I mean by important dates, as you can see on my little sticky note, I said Amity Bloom and Loki. This is going to be my important stuff. And every month, I like to focus a couple of things for like the most important things for that particular month. I kind of want to use that. I think that looks really pretty. And for this particular month, it's going to be all about my little Loki bear. And if you do not follow me on Instagram, you probably don't know this, but I actually got a little puppy and he is a Shih Tzu puppy. He is so adorable. He's my little baby and I just, I love him with all my heart. So little Loki bear, my honey bunny, that's his nickname. I like to call him honey bunny. He has his neutering surgery, and that is a very important date for me because the surgery is actually really bright and early in the mornings. Also, for the days after, you need to have some things ready for your, um, for your dog. So that's an important date for this month, and another important date is also a release of some of my journals that I'm working on for Amity Bloom, and also the fabric washi that will be 
going up for sale the last week of September, which is so exciting, the new um, September collection for the fabric washi. So there's all, those three are the most important things that are happening this month that are going to happen and that I need to make sure I have everything that I need. So let me just round the corners really quickly. And it would be so cute if I could pass that through my sewing machine, but I want to make this as simple as possible. And I know a lot of people don't have sewing machines. And sometimes, let's be honest, you don't want to get up from your chair, go over to your sewing machine and sew. Like, <laughs> So now I'm going to grab my little sticker book from the Target dollar spot. This was honestly, you guys, I think it was $3 or less. It's super handy. So I picked this up a long time ago, and I'm going to use the important sticker so that, obviously I use up the stickers in my sticker book. Before I put the sticker on, I need to make it pop out a little bit, so I'm going to put it on this mint paper just so that it pops out. And because this is such a busy background, the important sticker wasn't really showing through. So there we go. Put that in. So you can see how fast it is to make a tab. You don't have to have a fancy tab punch board like this one. You can honestly just use your scraps of paper and make a really fun and eclectic little tab to put in your bullet journal. So tabs don't just have to be on the outside of a journal. They are perfect for the inside when you use different types of pages just to kind of turn it over and it kind of makes your eye go to this page because you can see the word important or the word to do, or you know, your shopping list, you know, something that you want your eye to immediately gravitate towards. So I have my important tab. So now I need to put my three things that are really important this month. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to use this sticky note. You, have you guys been seeing a pattern so far? <laughs> I really like using sticky notes just because I have so many of them and I need to use them. So <laughs> those two reasons. Before I glue my sticky note onto my page, I want to collage a little bit on the back, or maybe right here, just so that you see these little pieces of paper kind of peeking through, and it adds some more dimension and makes it look overall more eclectic and kind of more unique and glue the rest of my sticky note right on top. Perfect. There we go. See how cute this looks? Oh my gosh. I want to grab a little scrap of some of that sticky note that I had left over. The same paper that I used for the important sticker. And I'm just going to place it like right along there. And I'm going to use this as my little checkbox paper. Here, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September. Uh, it's not the 8th, Naz, it's the 9th. So I kind of goofed. <laughs> I spelled Tuesday wrong and I put 8 instead of September. So let's fix that. <laughs> so this just goes to show if you goof up, it's okay. Like, it's not important. You can always cover it up and fix it up. So I'm just going to use this little scrap piece of some book paper. Use my little tiny scissors. These are so cute. I wish they were a different color, but that's okay. And I'm just going to cut off a little scrap. And this is quite frankly the most important thing that's gonna happen this month. So I actually prefer it to be highlighted even more by using a different type of paper to kind of bring it forward and bring it to the focal point. I'm not gonna goof up this time. So I wrote my first important task, which is um, on Tuesday. I have Loki surgery at seven o'clock a.m. And yes, that is a.m. It's very, very early. So I need to make sure I'm there a couple minutes before just in case anything happens. I've always been that type of person and I think I got it from my mom. Um, I learned that if you have something important, just leave early just so that you're sure that you're going to be there on time. And just in case, you know, what if your car breaks down? Or what if, you know, I don't know, a bird falls out from the sky and lands on your windshield and breaks it. <laughs> you need to have a plan for these things. <laughs> so for the other important dates, I'm going to take some of these little sticky notes. And these are really, really cute. So I'm just going to take one. 
and these are not sticky at all so you want to make sure that you add a lot of glue if you are using sticky notes that are not particularly sticky enough and this one I'm going to put it over here just to make it look a little bit more quirky there we go and then the last one will be should I use the bows I'll use the polka dots all right so this one is the magnolia rose journals which by the time that you watch this video they might have already been up and have sold the reason why i'm not including a date for this one and which is why it's not like the main focal point and it's not taking up the most space on the sticky note is because i don't have a particular date like if loki surgery prevents me from working on the journals or have to take care of them then this will obviously be pushed back so on things that i can control I don't give myself a date unless they're out of my hands or unless I can't control. So an appointment, it's out of my hands or a particular day if I have a meeting with someone, that's out of my hands. And the last thing is my September fabric washi. And I know that I'd like to um, release that the last week or probably the last weekend of September. So that is it for my important dates for the month of September. So moving on to the back. I'm actually going to be putting in my color palette for this month's um, fabric washi. I'm just going to use a book page because it's thin and it glues on really well on top of cardstock. Sometimes if you use cardstock on top of cardstock, it becomes really thick. And obviously this journal is going to be chunky no matter what knowing myself and it's going to get very bulky so I don't want to um, add too much bulkiness and if I can prevent that by using you know some book paper instead of some scrapbook paper I think it's a good idea so there we go I have just included my little book paper page right on top I can take some ledger I think the ledger would look kind of cool I'm going to take some ledger so I'm going to take some ledger just because I think it looks really cute and I'm going to use it as my little header or I'm going to write notes. I bought these little flag sticky notes from eBay I believe they were I think a dollar each pack but obviously because they're so cheap they're really bad quality. I don't mind because I can just add glue. I just don't like going through the hassle of cutting my own little, you know, my own little flags. I'd rather save some time and already have that done for me. So there we go. That looks pretty good. And right on top of that, I'm just going to write in notes. And so I'm going to include the notes for this month's fabric washi color palette. So here I have a couple of paint chip samples. These are left over for my color theory course that I have on my Teachable. I love using them and cutting them out into little circle punches um, because they're perfect for when you're trying to come up with a little inspiration board and you want to have different colors represented. This is a little sneak peek to the color palette for my fabric washi. It is so, so cute. I really am in love with this color palette. It's some of my favorite colors put together. And thank you so much to everyone who's purchased the fabric washi. I think we still have a couple of sets in the shop and once those sell, I don't think there'll be any more. I love getting your pictures and I love seeing your comments and how much you guys adore the fabric washi and I cannot wait for you guys to see this month's installment of our September washi. So I have this little scrap of paper and it's a, and it has some graph paper and it's pink. So I pulled out this little scrap paper from my scrap box and it's a scrap of a sticky note. I'm going to write my um, notes for my color palette. So now moving on to this page, this is going to be dedicated to my weekly. This is where I'm going to organize my planning by week. So instead of a month, I'm going to do a week. And the way that I do that, it's kind of like a monthly setup, but not really. 
um, I like to dedicate one thing, like one project per week. And I can't really do that in a monthly setup just because in the month it's just an overview of the whole month with like appointments and when bills have to get paid, that kind of thing. But when it comes to my business and the projects that I need to do, um, I'm always filming a course. I'm always working on a particular journal. I am working on different types of projects in my mom. She's also part of the Amity Bloom team, so I do organize that for the both of us. So I need to plan out, and I like to plan out one to two important projects per week. So to do that, this is how I organize myself. So I'm just going to glue this right up at the top and I'm just going to grab some washi tape that I have and this is just some graph washi and I'm just going to place it right there and just put a little scrap piece there. So this is for my weekly goals. So I have one, two, three, four, five weeks in September. One, two, three, four, five and we have an extra one for notes which is perfect. So all I do is I go and I write September, and that's how I organize myself. So then here it's gonna be September, um, Monday the 3rd to Sunday the 9th. And then this very last portion, it's gonna be notes. I'm just gonna take some of this really cute pink paper and I'm just gonna cut it so that it fits right at the bottom. I want it to have that really cute eclectic feel, kind of like a collage book, but using it to plan out my life or what can be planned because not your whole life should be planned. So now I'm just gonna take my ruler and I'm going to across each one. So that is pretty much it to this layout. I'm gonna go ahead and off camera, fill in my weekly goals, my notes, and fill in my monthly calendar. However, before I leave, I do wanna say for your monthly calendar, you can keep it simple, like just write in. Um, let's say for Loki surgery, I can just write in Loki surgery, or you can make it a little bit more creative and use washi tape to mark in like when his surgery is going to be done. You can use scraps of paper and cut them to size and cover up a little square. You can also do that, which I think is what I'm gonna do for the important dates. You can also use some fabric washi. This is some fabric washi that I have, and you can even use this to cut it up and put it in your squares as well. So it's really up to you what you wanna do for your monthly spread. I will, of course, show you the finished layout probably next week to see how much I have filled out. Let me know if you'd like to see even more process videos because I'd love to use my little pockets for daily pages and use my little book pages for my to buy. Um, I have my little sticky notes set to what I wanna do on this page. So this is gonna be a daily where I'm gonna put my dailies. If it's a really busy day, I'm gonna write it and I'm just gonna put it in the pocket. And then this is gonna be for to buy for the month, things that I need to buy personal and then things that I need to buy for my shop. And I'm still not sure what I'm gonna do here. I think it's the perfect planning method for someone who wants to organize their life, but wants it to be creative and wants and if you want to still incorporate your style in your planner and you really want to customize it, I think this is just the perfect way to do it. So let me know what you guys think below. Let me know if you'd like to see another layout um, and I would gladly film that for you. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope that you guys loved this little process video. And as always, my lovely family, I hope that you guys have an amazing day filled with peace and love. And I will talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.